Hello, my name is Matthew Bennett. I'm a gemologist trained by the GIA. And I'm here to talk to you about this toolkit that has some of the most fantastic tools that gemologists and many of us around the gem world use to help look at our fantastic gems. I've brought in a uh, one of my own personal peridots from home to kind of use through this uh, demonstration of what we've got. Let's get started. Very important to start off with a clean gem. Now, we've got a fantastic siliconized uh, cloth for you here. What I do is I open the cloth out fully. I use one quarter of the cloth because it's folded into four sides. And I place it table down, place it face down. Then bring over the sides of the cloth and ensure, and one of the most important things which a lot of people miss, most people clean the, the, the top, the up facing, uh, the table and, and, uh, and the crown of the gem, but not the pavilion. The pavilion is very important to clean, which is why a good cloth like this. And I would just, again, move the hands over either side of this. I've got an octagon shape here over the side of the gemstone just to make sure it is completely clean all the way around the outside to ensure the gem performs at its best brilliance. Where to go to next? Well, we've got some tweezers here and, and these are groove tweezers, very important indeed. And because these have the, the, these grooving at the top of the, of the tweezers, very, very easy for the gem to be held in there with that girdle facet just held in there nicely. Uh, and again, you can have a good peruse of that. The next tool that we have is the actual gemstone holder. Now, I, whilst the tweezers are fantastic to quickly look at different gems, if you're doing some analysis and then you, if you're really looking into the gem, the gemstone holder for me is a fantastic tool, a really, really good tool. Simply push the, uh, this part in uh, the bottom and it basically brings out this claw and that claw will wrap around the gem and you can literally just hold it. Now, this is great for me. I, I can only use tweezers with my right hand. And if I'm trying to write with my right hand, obviously I've got to hold the gem, right, put it down and hold up. So again, this is a great sort of hands-free tweezers, if you were. Very, very good piece of kit. What's also great about this gemstone holder, I've got another very important piece of equipment here. And this is a, a gemologist's dream. This is a 10 times uh, magnification loop. Again, that's the same sort of magnification that we grade diamonds with. So those are the different ways of, of holding the gem, looking into the gem. How about measuring the gem? Well, we've got here for you. We've got, I'm gonna start off with this brass gauge. It goes up uh, to three inches in total. You've got inches and millimeter dimensions on here. And simply, and again, like I say, if you're just scribbling notes on, on, on the dimensions of the stone, pop the gem in the middle, and then simply reading off. Very, very uh, simple to, to, tool to use. Work out the length, the width, if it's around brilliant, of course, then all you've got to do is measure one dimension on there. But again, very simple, very easy to use uh, brass tool. Now, another measuring tool that we, we, we tend to use, now we tend to use this a lot for diamonds, but also can be used for gemstones if you want to compare the different SGs and, and get it across. But the actual dimensions on here are for diamonds. But like I say, once you've got a different gem, if you can work out the specific gravities and multiply them, compare that to the diamond. All you'll simply do, again, best with the tweezers on this that, rather than the gemstone holder, get the tweezers and bring the gem up to whichever sort of gap, whichever hole fits the gem better. And it gives you a rough guide on what the carat weight should be. Now that's great for a rough guide for a very quick, easy way of working it out. If you want to be a little bit more specific, we've included, which I think is amazing, the fact that we've included this in here as well, is your pocket scales. Again, pocket scales, easily transportable. Turn the, turn the scales on. Make sure it's calibrated down to zero. Now I've got this in grams at the moment. You can turn the units into ounces and into carat weights, most importantly, carat weights. And like I said, because it's a pocket tool, you can take this around again if you go in different gem sews. But again, very simple to use if you want to measure lots of gemstones at the same time, work out an average carat weight between them. What about when you come to actually looking at many stones together and working out exactly how you want to set them? We use this, our team use this in jewelry manufacturing all the time to ensure that if we have a, a trilogy, for example, that all three of those stones are perfectly matched. Take a top-down look when you're looking at the color, make sure it's a top-down look. Normally in nice white, as white lighting conditions as you can, so that's not interfering too much. Take a top-down look and without a loop, just eyeball it and have a look with the color. I know many of you use be beading trays before for something similar. Have a look at the color. There's a couple of different ways of using this. You can have a look again, have a look at the grooves for some of those larger stones, or if you want a round cut, uh, ovals will also fit in this. Pop them into the grooves here as well. Have it when you want to put all the gemstones away. Well, so important, we've got 25, uh, well, they're called diamond parcel papers, but you can use these for any gemstone. And they keep it really secure. Got paper within the paper, simply pop the gem in. And again, with all the way that it's folded already, it's already folded for you, you would simply fold down on the top, over, and then bring it up to here. 
But again, very nice and very secure uh, in that. And again, pop that to one side. We've got 25 of those diamond parcel papers for you. Altogether, this is all put to in uh, a nice, uh, a really nice kit uh, box for you. Uh, all keep nice and secure in here. Uh, and again, a great way, you know, if you are, uh, you know, on the move to put all of those gem equipment in there. And, and again, a, a fantastic small case for you to carry this all around in. It's a brilliant kit. It really, really is. And again, it, like I say, it has all of the tools that as gemologists uh, we use on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, and here at Jewelmaker, uh, they've got a fantastic, fantastic offer for you to be able to get hold of one of these kits. I think I'll be looking for one myself.